going to talk about a new partnership between AT&T and the U.S. military on 5G-focused research and development experiments. And I saw this today, and I thought it was really interesting. So AT&T and the U.S. military have partnered. This is a three-year R&D agreement. It's focused on 5G experiments with the Naval Postgraduate School, uh, which is the Department of the Navy's Applied Research University. And the goal here is, you know, I mean, Let's take a big leap here, at and and the Navy. It's all about exploring maritime technology solutions for both homeland security and national defense. And then the additional benefits of this 5G-focused research is that it will also inevitably provide information that will help benefit other maritime industries like shipping, oil and gas, even recreational boating. So I thought it was a really interesting, um, I thought it was an interesting partnership. You know, we're seeing many of these kinds of partnerships. I think I reported on, you know, something else that AT&T is doing with um, universities and things like that. AT&T certainly is not the only carrier to be doing this kind of thing. It just happens to have popped up in my newsfeed and I thought it was of interest. Um, but AT&T has indicated that these experiments will use one of our favorite things, Ron, um, MM Wave Spectrum. And, uh, you know, and as we know, 5G and the edge are, you know, incredibly important to all entities these days. And, and of course, to the armed services as well. Um, I, I saw that the chief digital and in innovation officer of the Department of the Navy um, was quoted on this research partnership and, and really, you know, they're all about exploring faster ways of collecting, disseminating and analyzing data at the edge. And then, you know, this of course is vital to the Navy's ability to maintain and adopt battle space awareness, you know, and, and this is true. This is true, whether you're in the military or whether you're in business of any kind. I mean, it really is, you know, 5G and the edge are sort of the, the critical components of business today and where things are happening and where data is collected and analyzed. And, um, and I, you know, I don't know if you had a chance, Ron, to, to read about this at all, or you have any thoughts on it? Oh, no, this is a, a cool announcement. I, yeah. I think it captures you know, the imagination because, to your point, uh, it emphasizes it's not just about 5G spectrum, for example, millimeter wave and, let's say, the 39 right. gigahertz uh, range, uh, right. but also it uses mid-band LTE. But they're also enlisting uh, drones. Uh, they're enlisting unmanned robots, yeah. uh, underwater uh, vehicles uh, that are right. autonomous. Yeah. to collect this data and information. So this is like, all right, futuristic. Yeah. Uh, this yeah. is a really excellent way to, you know, enhance certainly uh, maritime capability, certainly when it comes to defense and homeland security. But it'll be cool when they start parlaying into civilian applications, because as right. we all know, the Internet itself started as a military project that then had tremendous impact on the civilian side. Here we are, you know, for example, and likewise, things like microwave ovens and Velcro yeah. and so forth. So this is uh, really cool stuff. And uh, yeah, I was really impressed by uh, the partnership and uh, the implications that it can have in terms of innovating uh, maritime capabilities and you know yeah. making drones work even better uh, for communications, et cetera. So so this is a, I think, a, a really good one to pay attention to. Yeah, I thought so as well. And so, uh, so the first, from a timeline standpoint, the first 5G and mech nodes, and, and a mech is a multi-access edge computing, mobile edge computing platform, okay? And those are expected to be installed by AT&T and in use during the first quarter of 2022, which is really soon. Right. Uh -huh. Yes. And this will combine uh, NFV and cloud virtualization technology. It'll minimize, you know, mobile backhaul bandwidth requirements and provide ultra low latency capabilities, which are super important as it relates to all of this. This is not a private 5G network, which we've talked a lot about. Mm -hmm. These servers will be located in an NPS data center, and, and NPS will be able to determine who or what devices can use the servers and features, which from a security standpoint, I think is incredibly important. Um, and, and this is designed to help the Navy with intelligence and reliability and insights into traffic and control that allows the limiting of use and, again, security and speed into the network. So th these research trials are really all about uh, identifying advanced technology 
technology solutions. And, um, and I think it's really exciting. You, you talked about innovation. You touched on innovation a second ago. And I thought this quote from retired Vice Admiral Anne Rondo, who's the president of the Naval Postgraduate School, said, Innovation occurs at the seams and intersection of practice and expertise, and NPS provides an innovation hub where this applied 5G research can occur. You know, we talk about test beds, <laughs> we talk about mm -hmm. all these different kinds of things that Qualcomm and other companies are doing. Um, this is a test bed. I mean, really, it's, you know, a place where innovation and research and experimentation can happen, and it's a really exciting thing. Oh, right on. Yeah, I mean, it's just fundamental to, you know, advancing uh, not just only 5G, but anticipating 6G capabilities. Absolutely. And we, we've seen it, you know, proven over and over. It's an, really an ecosystem uh, dimension here. It, it's yeah. just not, you know, something that can be carried by only a handful of operators and vendors. It really is enlisting universities, governments, right. uh, you know, non-governmental uh, organizations, et cetera, et cetera. It, it really is something that uh, is uh, going to make a difference in terms of, you know, making 5G more secure, uh, making the mobile ecosystem uh, just uh, better uh, responses and also enhancing monetization opportunities, et cetera. Right. So yes, it, it's just part of the fabric.